a red light or <laughs> green light. <laughs> red light. Red, red light. light. Why does she got such long hair? I don't know. Nope, it still has to be moving. You're gonna die right here. Oh uh, yeah, I think I'm dead. You're. F <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was gonna anything. say I'm pretty sure it has to be moving in a rhythm. Yeah, we're behind on these. What do you want? What do you want from us? I mean, we're only human. Um, Lo-fi horror has sort of been. I'm not gonna say. Well, it, it it's been around for a while, but I remember the VHS franchise. The first two movies are great. Anyone who's into like good lo-fi horror, definitely check those out. Also, if you uh, also. The previous Mandela catalog, the Backrooms video, Backrooms videos by Kane Pixels especially. So many great amateur filmmakers are on YouTube now, and I can't wait to see where they're going to be. Because you know, Alex Kisser is 19. The kid that made these is 19 right now. And then Kane Pixels, I think Kane just turned 18. So you got these kids who are just so talented. And they're just so creative. And I love seeing it. I, I love seeing people just birth this, you know, these ideas into reality. And the Mandela Catalog Volume 2, this is a volume uh, that I'm not sure why it's taken us so long to get to these. But I think it's because uh, our first one got age restricted, uh, much like, um, much like uh, the original Mandela Catalog video did. But this one has not been age age restricted, so I think maybe we can. Oh, also, uh, best experience with headphones, captions on, so, and alone in a dark room. Well, you can't do those. What in a dark room? More alone. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, it's it's fine. I think we'll be all right. I mean, <clears throat> overall, these film or these like. Uh, videos like this are very well made, are very imaginative, and I just love I love seeing them uh, and like the ideas that that are brought forward. But we're gonna go ahead and hop into the Mandela Catalog Volume Two, and I guess I guess we're gonna like get the shit scared out of us, shall we? Here we go. Winter break two thousand nine. Oh. Adam and Jonah. Oh, victim three and four. <clears throat> this ain't good. You've reached the Bodythorn Paranormal Society. How may I help you? Hello? Uh, may I schedule an appointment? Of course, ma'am. Where's the location? My home. One... Okay, thank you. Would you mind giving me a brief description of what you've been experiencing? I've been hearing... things. Like what, ma'am? I still hear the meows of my old cat Johnny, but the little guy passed away a few years ago. Uh, really? A freaking cat alternate? Shh. I don't think it's an alternate. I just think his soul roams the house still. I want to make sure he finds peace in whatever realm he resides in. Do you think you could help guide him? We can certainly try, ma'am. When would you like us to visit? As soon as possible, please. When's your next opening? Well, we could do tonight if you want. Can you do three nights? I'm away from home on a business trip. I'm sure this will give you enough time to deal with him. Uh, well... How about 500 a night? Oh, hell yeah! All right. Jonah. Sounds like a plan. Uh, we will help your cat, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you can think. No problem, ma'am. It's just what we do. Hey, back it up. Back it up. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You sure you got it? Yeah, just open the trunk. Now, are you really sure you got it? Cause I can... Just open the damn trunk, Jonah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got anything we actually needed. Not like we can do anything about it now. Shit. You got anything left? Uh... No? You used everything already? Damn it! Well, we don't gotta worry about income anymore, since we got this massive freaking payday, right? Fifteen uh, hundred's not well, bad. We got a couple options. Which are? We either, one, ask someone to help start our car with the cables, or... Steal another one? Yeah. Uh, it's broad daylight now, but it's not like anyone's gonna call the cops here. Right. And we'd be doing yet another delinquent act, but it's not like we aren't already on the run anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to fix the car while I eat chips. Lazy ass. Yeah. Mandela County. Uh oh. See, artistic choices like this, you know, putting it in the back seat to like show and who's to say the traveling. Crazy. Who's to say she's not as high as I'm going to be in 30 minutes? Uh, I would hope us, because the last thing I need is getting a weird house call from a stoned lady about a dead cat, and then there'd be no nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Right? Half of me think uh, there aren't even alternates. And the mayor was just too stupid to just make that entire uh, infographic. Yeah, but like, why are we getting getting so many calls about alternates in the first place? Well, maybe because every maybe it's mass hysteria, right? Do you think this is the rise of the war on alternates? I don't know. I'm, we're just two guys driving. Mm, snow on the ground. You will arrive at your destination. Sorry. You're really useful. I mean, they didn't have to help on these things, did they? Probably gonna just that remove that face thing off there. Like and, you know, Does it kill you? If it keeps doing that. No, they did not. I guess crime really does pay. I like how you're making us out to be gangsters when all we did was, you know, get all of this. I know, I know. It's just we left our whole lives under the radar, right? Like the quiet kid. Okay, so they're gonna spend three nights trying to get this cat's spirit to leave, I guess. There's one camera in there already, but it's one of those old ones with the tapes and stuff. It will record, but I won't be able to see it in real time. I'll just have to look at it afterwards.
a piece here? <laughs> you look so stupid right now. Dude, what am I supposed to do for a literal ghost cat? What's... What's it gonna do? Just... Uh, us to death? Like, uh, what are we doing here? Would you mind taking this seriously for once? I mean, in the end, I don't really have to take that much seriously at all, because I'm in here, and you're in there, and you're... Yeah, because you were too scared to go inside to begin with. Not too scared. I'm not too scared. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm not. I just... I'm allergic to cats. You seeing this? <laughs> uh... The door? It's a lot tight. It's kinda weird. Trying to... Um, do you have anything to, you know, tear it down? I'm not gonna bust down this random lady's door. It's fine, she's not gonna find out. Anyways, moving on. Definitely locked door in the house. Look at the scuffing around the bottom of it. That's usually a sign of a pet. You know, either a dog or a cat scratching the base of the of the door. Are you uh you see anything in there? No, I mean, there was nothing besides that weird kind of locked door. Not a meow, not a noise, nothing. See anything weird on the cameras at all? Yeah, I'm not. I'm scrolling through this, I don't think I see anything either. I mean, who knows? Maybe that thing's just locked downstairs. Yeah, the more, I'm not gonna lie to you, man, the more I look at this house, the more I, the more I really don't want to be in that. I mean, I don't see anything. I think we're just kind of babysitting an empty house for three nights. I mean, I think the best thing that can happen is we just leave now and then we say we were here the entire time. Because I'm, I'm looking at this house and I'm looking at this footage, and even though there's nothing too threatening about it, I don't I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's literally it's just like a house to me. It does me too, but at the same time, there's some houses I get a creepy feeling about. You ever, like... There was one, it was, um, it was this house that, um, Miss Jessie, a <coughs> old woman, when my grandparents were, when I went over to my grandparents' house, Miss Jessie lived next door, and she was 92, and she was still, like, con you know, like, mentally there, she was all cognizant and everything, and every time I walked in her house, I always got this chill, you know, just like, I, I just couldn't shake it. And even after she's passed away and, you know, her family inherited the house and have, like, updated and everything, I still look at that house and I still get a creepy feeling. It's a lot like the, the Amityville house, you know? It's like that, you know, its shape is weird to me and gives me a very off feeling. It's it's weird how some places can give you that. And, you know, you, you like, you can't explain it 100%, but... It just, you know, you feel uneasy with everything. never really got that from a house, but I got that from my old church. Oh, okay. Which was converted from an old elementary school. Oh, that's, that's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> so it had, a, like, a lot of extra space, and it was very large, and there was a lot of emptiness and places where people never were and stuff in it. So... I would say the biggest thing with this is the, um... The Mandela, the Mandela catalog, what they're doing right here is they're doing original approaches to people like being in certain scenarios. You know, showing, you know, not showing their faces on video, but like having like photos of them and basically just them doing voiceovers and shit like that. This is the stuff I, I, I love when people figure out new ways to tell a story and still make it effective and they and Alex is doing a great job here yeah, bro. can you suck it up for three nights <sighs> fuck what oh. who's that where did that come, did that come from I think that came from the house man I really don't like this now I'm the opposite this is kind of interesting <sighs> I don't I don't, don't, don't think you should go in there now I'm going back in there's, there's something deeper than a cat here. I think that's the problem. I, 
I think it's fine. You're over. Realize what this can I do think for you're us. Gonna what the... You're gonna die. You're gonna die, there, boys. We're already on the run. We I think, don't they're, I think they're gonna die. Do you like it or not? I'm going back in. Adam, please. It's too late. I've already made up my mind. I guarantee you. Um, what's locked in there is the the woman who called them was the mimic, probably was or the and I think that the body of the original woman is in that room that's locked. That's what I think, and I don't. I'm not sure why that they she would demand them to stay there for three days. Maybe because you know I don't know I. I guess we're just going to have to keep going. How did you die? Where are you from? What year were you born in? Are you lost? Am I coming through? Loud and clear. Oh my God, behind you! Shut up. You see anything on the cameras? Oh my God, behind you! Dude, cut it out. Oh my God, behind you! Dude, seriously, stop. Quit! What the hell did I do? Just forget. Okay. That was weird. Uh, what are you, what are you saying exactly? Dude, that's not funny. What's not funny? Take a tiny bite. God's probably not even looking. Oh, go ahead. I remember that cartoon. I, not... I, I don't know. It was good, but suddenly I feel kind of scared. Okay. Lost visuals on cam three. You think you could check that out? Uh oh. Open the door. Don't open the door. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Need some dang old flashlights. Open your eyes. Oh shit! I seen that. I seen it too. Oh boy. Well, I think Adam's gonna bite the dust. <laughs> Jesus, it got me.
Well. Wait, he... Did you just pick that up? What's the matter? Jack, are you telling? Don't. Just don't, okay? Please. Oh, so now you're taking this seriously. Dude! I don't know what you want from me. I'm as serious now as I've ever been. <laughs> this whole time, huh? So you fucking with me was you being serious. I get that I screw around sometimes, okay? But that's just what I do. Well, maybe it shouldn't be. Look, man, I'm just devastated that I'm not as broken as you still are with everything that's happened, and I'm sorry that I can't keep helping you carry this burden. What does that have to do with anything? But I'm... Reaching my fucking limit here. These things have taken so much away from us. Yet you still run to them every chance you get. No, I don't. fucking listen to me. You're not invincible, okay? I know you thought that when we started doing these fucking death marches, and nothing happened. And I get it, but this right here is real, and you should know that more than anybody. What's that even supposed to mean? I wish we never looked for your. Because she is dead and gone, and we were never going to get her back. What did you just fucking say to me? And I'm sorry that these are the lives that we lead today, but Adam, if you walk down those stairs, you'd be joining her. And if by some miracle you come back out, I don't think you'd be yourself. And I'm telling you right now that I won't be here to confirm that. Well then just fucking leave this! Leave! I guess Adam's got a death wish. He's... Yep, he's going in the basement. Cat on TV? Um... Oh... Okay. You've been trolled by a ghost. What are you? You know the answer. Did the right thing. Nobody is coming to help you. Jonah? Mm. You there? He's gone, dude. I don't understand. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have no idea what's going on. I guess there's Jonah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn. I think I'm more confused now than I was after the first one. <laughs> so, I get what I I kind of get what was happening with Adam. Adam going into that house and not wanting to come come out after experiencing what he saw. I guess he something happened to him, like he lost a family member or a girlfriend or something, and I think maybe it was a replicant that took her, you know, that took her away. And I think Adam was, you know, he's... Some people develop a lack of... A, a lack of self-preservation preservation and get a bit of a... Um, I'm not gonna... I, I hate to say stereotypically a death wish, but... The but the truth is some people just don't know when to just call it off and move on. And I think that's what happened. Jonah did want Jonah didn't want Adam to go down those stairs because he knew if he went down those stairs, which is probably where the replicant was, because uh, something was going on before that. So in what that's way? That's what was confusing to me. Like the right behind you part like they were obviously like things were happening before the door to the downstairs ever opened like there was shit well no that that, that, that him explained. coming into the room that thing coming into the room and like staring at him from the corner and the face that you know jumped me a little bit hmm. like there was some some creepy stuff going on I'm not sure 100% but Whatever it is, Adam was wanting to face it head on, and it looks like it's it's got him now. And Jonah, Jonah's just an emotional wreck now because he he left his best friend behind. Well, I'm guessing since I said victim three and victim four, that the beginning of the next one will probably be Jonah going back and ended up getting killed as well. Probably, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That that is if what's going on is what I think is going on, anyways, which is vague. <laughs> yeah. So overall, this is a this was a great this was a great study of just minimalistic storytelling and doing a pretty good job of it and leaving us wanting more because Volume Three 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 is out now, which is. Uh, the third one of this, and I would be more than happy to watch that as well. And I guess if y'all want us to watch that, let us know. And until next time, everybody, signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. Uh, be sure to check out Alex Kister and the rest of the Mandela catalog on his YouTube channel. And until next time, we'll see you. Peace.